Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about apps diff function. This function basically gives you the difference between two images. What I mean is that, uh, for example, you have two images and you want to compare these two images as uh, for about their pixel values. Then this function is going to check all of the coordinates in your image and it's going to uh, compare with the other image pixel values and it's going to give you the differences for each coordinate. And this is not subtraction, don't misunderstand. This is uh, subtraction, but the absolute value of subtraction. This is very important and we are going to more clearly understand on the code part. And uh, the only thing you need to keep in mind, this uh, both input images sizes and the types should be same. And it's going to give you the same type of and the same sizes images. Let's pass to the code part and understand more clearly. I already have uh, two images, which is the one is Lena image, which is almost same, but I draw some lines. So it's going to give me the, uh, when compare this function, it's going to give me these lines easily. So we can make a simple example. But uh, before uh, to do that, maybe we can, to be understand more clearly, we can create our own uh, matrix. So we can check mathematically how it looks like. Let's see that. First of all, our source one maybe, and let's create that all of the pixel is gonna be zeros. Then the let's create the size. Size gonna be three to three because I wanna a small mat, and the type is gonna be the grayscale eight bit signal single channel image, and I wanna create one more because I want to compare it with this one, and done. So now we can uh, some numbers we can assign to this uh, mat. Let's say source one dot add since they are unsigned child and the point let's say zero to zero and uh, I want to assign this as let's say 15 and let's do for other since this is three to three we can assign a couple of the pixels let's say 53 and uh, copy little bit more. Mm, maybe this is one to two and two, two to two and uh, what else? Two to one. That's one more and done. Maybe this is two to zero. Let's say. Okay, forty-four, one hundred and twenty-five, and thirty-three. Let's say. Let's do the for the same pixel for other image, which is source two. So we can see the differences after the function result. And uh, let's change this a little bit. Add one and uh, make three, maybe make five, make one and okay, maybe this is done. So uh, also I want to see how my input images looks like. So for that, uh, maybe I need to create input one input two and uh, output okay seems i'm done let's see uh cv im show and uh, input one after that the first source one and same for the input second okay also i want to see of course the result which is we not yet created okay Let's do it with our apps div function here. Then the source one and source two and our destination image, which is we can create in here. Okay, seems I'm done. Let's see the result. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Keep in here this is my input and this is output so the the 0 to 0 pixel you see 115 subtracted by 15 and the absolute value is 100 so the middle you see 53 to 3 is 50 and for the for 244 the result is 200 also you can check these they are also after subtracted the absolute values you see in the output matrix and mathematically you see how it looks like how it's working let's see in with a real life image and see the result 
what I need to do is just change the image one, uh, not image one, image and image two. By the way, they are representative of these two images, Lena and Lena two. And I already converted to them the grayscale, scale, more easy to understand. And let's see the re result image and image two. I think after the input specifying done let's see the result of it okay uh, as i said at the beginning uh, this is my source image normally i'm using always in my videos just i draw uh, manually some lines here uh, from paint so what i wanna the differences between these two images and you see it's clearly giving me the lines which i draw so that's how this function works actually in in a real life example we can say so uh, in many cases i believe we are gonna need this we also talk about mathematical part so this is done for this function see you in the next videos